Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, for the wife's birthday, she decided that she wanted a Philly cheesesteak. Uh, unfortunately, everywhere around us, there, or the area around us, excuse me, there is nowhere that makes a legitimate, or even close to legitimate, Philly cheesesteak. So, we're going to call this a steak sandwich, because I don't want to get crucified by the internet. And I know it's not a legit, by the book, Philly cheesesteak, necessarily even close, but it's a steak sandwich and it's the way that she wanted it, so yeah, that's what we're doing. But So first off, as you saw, I sliced up washed mushrooms, and then we're moving on to some green pepper, just doing some rough, not even julienne slices of them, because they're going to get cooked, so they're going to be nice and soft. And then we have some jalapenos to add a little bit of heat, a little bit of heat to the sandwich. Uh, she didn't want me to leave all the seeds in, so I pretty much just cored those peppers and took them out. And then we have horseradish sauce that's going to go in at the end, which will achieve the nasal cleansing that, you know, one desires from a spicy sandwich. Such, oh, it's so good with horseradish on it. Oh, it's so good. And then the jalapeno is just doing thin little strips after I cut them in half. Um, you know, so they have a nice little bite to them. You don't want them to be so thin and just like little diced things that they just disappear in the sandwich. And then we have onion, and you can kind of see me struggling there because I am in desperate need of sharpening my chef's knife with the whetstone. I just haven't had time, or probably a more honest answer is I have been lazy and haven't taken the time to do it. After I finished the onion, I did go ahead and run the knife over the uh, honing rod just to kind of limp along until I stop being lazy and procrastinating and sharpen it with the whetstone but uh, it still worked pretty well to slice up this uh, steak that had been sitting in the freezer I just picked this up on sale at Publix uh, it was on sale that's really the only reason why I got this this specific one uh, because we're both you know cost conscious and so if it's still something delicious and it's on sale why not I did the entire time Probably at least half a dozen times during slicing the steak, I reminded her that uh, this right here, hand slicing the steak, as thin as I could reasonably get it without, you know, taking the knife to myself out of frustration, was just pure love. Like, look how thin that is. At some points, it's completely falling apart. That 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 is love. That is birthday, celebration, wife is amazing love right there well yeah my wife is amazing so her husband does awesome things yeah that makes sense totally makes sense but anyway once the steak's all sliced up we're uh, preheating a big old skillet throwing those onions and peppers in with some olive oil I'm just gonna start sauteing those down again just sped up the footage throughout because you don't really need to see them cooking in slow motion I don't really see much benefit in that you get the idea cook them till they're soft I did have to pick out a couple little pieces of onion that just didn't um, visually agree with what I was looking for there, uh, but I think you missed it. And then at some point I added mushrooms in, I don't know why I edited out putting the mushrooms into the pan. It happened, it's too late, I can't go back, I don't want to, yeah, so. Mushrooms went in, cooked them down, cooked a good amount of the liquid off, put the veggies in a pan, on the, or in a, in a pan, in a bowl on the side. And then I got that pan hot again, added a little bit more olive oil, put the steak in. And what you'll start to notice is I completely failed on getting the pan hot enough for the amount of steak that was in there. Completely failed. Um, just wasn't hot enough and you can see right here. If you have all this liquid that's still sitting in your pan, your pan was not hot enough to sear your steak for the amount that you had. It just wasn't. So. I kind of just went with it because there's really nothing I could do at this point. I mean, I could have taken the steak out, heated the pan up, but she was hungry. She was growling at me in the background because she was hungry, so it seemed better just to kind of wing it and keep going. So. so I just went ahead and threw those veggies right on back in there, just let everything cook together, make a little sauce, you know, going in there. A little last minute request, request excuse me, from uh, the master herself uh, to put some garlic powder in there. And that acted actually really well to help uh, thicken up that sauce, kind of bind it all together. And then we're gonna go ahead and melt some sharp provolone cheese on there because I protested, even though it was her birthday meal. I wanted to eat too, so 
she conceded that we didn't have to do American cheese because, oh my God, I just, I can't do it. American cheese grosses me out. There are people that swear by it. She swears by it. It grosses me out. Can't do it. Can't, 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 can't do it. I don't know. Mm -mm, nope. Won't do it. Nope. Can't. But melt all that cheese on there. Cook all the remaining juice off. Um, it didn't really have, didn't really have any problems with it sticking at this point because there was decent amount of liquid down there to cook off, steamed all the cheese in the process, you know, emulsified it all together, and then look at that beautimous thing on there. And I did a little bit of mayo, some prepared horseradish before the uh, mixture of meat, veg, and cheese went down, but oh man, it looks so good. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look so freaking good? Man, it looks so good. And full disclosure, I just used a public sub roll because her order came in late. I didn't have time to make sub rolls from scratch, but still turned out freaking delicious either way. I'll see you guys next time.